What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022 edition, quite possibly 2023. We shall see. Anywho, in our last episode, we started off our adventure with uh, trading for a Houndour. Yes, we got a Houndour. We got Hira right here. Yes. And we managed to get the tree that was in the middle of this way right here. And it happened to be a Sudowoodo. Now it is finally time for us to go straight to Ecrotech City. And Trainer Tips, a used dig to return to the entrance of any place. It's convenient for exploring. Uh, caves, other landmarks, and whatnot. Okay. All right. Good to know. All righty. So there is a bit of a, a few things that we needed to do right here. Okay. So we go right here. We're going to be finding a few trees. Yes, it's a fruit berry tree. We're going to be finding some apricorns. Definitely need these apricorns to, you know, get some Pokeballs and all that crud. Uh, what was the other thing, too? Yes, in this episode, we're going to be battling a few. Going into Ecrotech City. Checking out a few things, and then from there, yes. We're going to be going into the Burnt Tower just to see what the heck is going on up there. Because, well, apparently there's something going up up there. I don't know. Yeah, and before we do anything, I need to heal my Pokemon because, uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a scuffle right here. Let's go right ahead and use a Super Potion that we didn't even get to use. And, uh, well, let's see. I have Hera, and it grew quite a few levels going into this adventure. And I still want to evolve Togepi, which is still the main goal. So let's go right ahead and battle these people right here. Anne and I are in this together. So we got two ands, one with double ends and one with an E. It's pretty cool right there. So here we go, Twins and an Ann want to battle, and they're going to be coming out with a Jigglypuff right here. Alrighty, bring it. Here we have Hera, and I am going to be switching out Hera because, well, yeah, we don't need that we don't need We don't need that kind of mess right now. And here comes a defense curl from Jigglypuff. Alright, Togepi, let's go ahead and uh, use that swift attack. Do it like, like Taylor Swift right there. And, oh, crud, Baskets. It is, uh, yeah, it's still a little strong right here. Yeah. Anywho, I'm actually I'm actually very glad that you guys like the, the trades that are going on into this episode. Uh, trust me when I say this. Yeah, it is not the last trade that we're going to be doing here in this walkthrough. There is still one more trade that needs to be done. But it won't be done until way later on in our adventure. So, yeah, we got ways to go, and, well, our Pokemon are growing levels. And here comes a Clefairy. So let's get rid of this Pokemon real quick. Let's go with Chico. Chico's been doing some stuff. Some crazy stuff right here. So, let's go, Chico. How's it going? Chico right here, going with a Razor Leaf attack. And just like that... Clefairy almost been defeated. Holy crud. Okay, so yeah, that kind of messed this up a little bit right there. So let's go again. Another razor leaf attack. And for the win, there goes Clefairy. Alrighty. And there we go. We defeated Ann and Ann. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's move on right here. Uh, we got a trainer right here waiting for us. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Uh, Pokemon can't do a thing when they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Okay. If I had to be a if I had to be a guessing guy, this guy is gonna try and do some psychic type moves on us. So we're gonna stick with one Pokemon right here and hopefully hope for the best, I guess. Hope for the best, I guess. That's what it sounds like. Okay. And yeah, we don't have Roar or we, yeah, we don't have uh, Ember right now. But we're gonna try and poison this Pokemon. Yes! Okay, so it is poisoned and the disable is not working. There we go, double attack. You know what? Let's go right ahead and heal it. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be flexing our muscles just a tad bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a potion onto Hera. There we go. What? What's the worst that can happen? And disable. Yeah, joke's on you. Smog's not really going to do much. And there we go. Let's go ahead and use Leer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to be strategic against this Pokemon. Not going to work. Poison. There we go. Let's go with another Leer. That's right. The power of Christ compels you. There we go. Oh, yes. 
I wish it was toxic, though. That would have definitely worked right there. So its defense has gone down. It's disables hit hitting us, and Leer has been disabled now. And there we go, just a little bit more poison, enabling us to use smog right here. And this actually affects it just a little bit more. And here comes more poison. One more hit. That's all we need, and Hera is totally kicking some butt right now. Oh yes, I am happy for this Pokemon right here. And 555 experience points. Yes, this is the quickest leveling up that we've ever done. Psychic Greg has been defeated, and yes, that is pretty sad. Alright, let's move on. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Ecrudex City. We got a lot to cover right here. First is first, let's go into the Pokemon Center, because once you enter, here's this red-headed guy, and you think it's, uh, it's, it's silver, but really, turns around and he's like, Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Draven, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjusting uh, adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades in the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. But simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running in all Pokemon centers. I have to get a hurry back to Goldenrod City and see my folks. Bye bye So basically... So basically, if you wanted to trade... Let's just say if I wanted to trade from Pokemon Yellow to here, Pokemon Crystal, I can trade my Yellow Pokemon, but in response, I can't trade any new Pokemon like my native Pokemon right here, nor can I trade any you know, Generation 1 Pokemon with a move like, uh, I don't know, uh, Mean Look, um, Dynamic Punch, any of those, any of those moves. Anywho, here we are in Aircrotech City, and first things first, we're gonna be going right here, and we're gonna talk to this individual, and he's gonna be like, ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, that's an adventure, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right, or am I right? You're right. Good. Understand a, th a true spirit of an adventure. I like that. Take this with you. And there it is. We grabbed ourselves an item finder. Which is great. And there are so many, many things lying on the ground. And yes, we can't see it, so we have the item finder right, right there to actually show you the spot, but not the exact spots. Anywho, let us move on. Here is the Pokemon Gym. That will be done for the next episode. And, well, let's see. Here we have the Ecrotic Dance Center where you can actually go and battle the Kimono Girls. Now, let's see if I'm correct right here. Uh, if you step outside right here, Mount Mortar is real close by. But there is an item right here that you can actually grab, and here it is. You get yourself an Ultra Ball. And, you know, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the Johto region. Or in the gold silver, uh, the gold silver series, gold silver crystal series, is that you can actually choose where you want to go after defeating Morty. Now there's another place right here. Ecrotech used to have two towers, one in, in the east and one in the west. And well, we're getting a call from Alan Schoolboy, and well, he's getting stronger. I thought you were gonna get me an item, but never mind. Alrighty, so. What's next? Oh yes, we're gonna be going into the Burnt Tower. That right there is a legendary spot. Now, the tower that used to be here, my grandma told me it used to be so much taller. Now in Pokemon Crystal, the animation is a lot more complete than in the uh, in the Gold Silver series because, well, yeah, it kind of looks just like a tower or something like that. But let's go right ahead and do a little something right here. And that is, we got the Rock Smash technique. Now that we have Rock Smash right here, we can actually buy it over at Goldenrod. And anybody can learn it right here, so... Let's see. Who actually needs it the most? Hmm. You know what? Let's go right ahead and give it to Hera. Hera is going to need it for, you know, just a little bit. And yeah, you can always, you can always buy Rock Smash. So... Let's go ahead and take away Roar. We don't really need that one right there. So, there we go. Hera's learned Rock Smash. 
And now we can actually go into the burnt tower and, well, look at this guy right here. My name is Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Draven, glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in the burnt tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Oh, I don't know. Probably in that gaping hole or something? I don't know. Now, if you go right here, Ectic's gym leader has to be, or has to study, uh, has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, or Raikou. I don't know. I got used to saying Raikou. My bad, guys. It's Raikou, or Raikou, or I don't even know. Raikou. My bad for any of you guys who think I'm butchering the name. Yusin is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with them. Hmm. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at a few things. Now that we have the rock smash technique, we can actually break these things and grab these items. Now be aware that if you break these items or break these stones, you will be getting attacked by some of these Pokemon right here. And, well, there are some Pokemon that you can find here too. Okay, so I really need to switch out on Pokemon because, uh, yeah... Yeah, weaker Pokemon are going to get attacked, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead right here. See what we can actually find. I think we can find a hidden item right here somewhere. But, let's see, let's see. Hmm, there's nothing right here. Okay, so here we have our rival, and he's going to be looking at us all cockeyed and everything. Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say, they say ro a roost here. But there's nothing here! Nothing after all trouble of coming to this dump. No way! It's all your fault! Okay, seriously, man. What is it What is it with you, man? Like, you got some anger issues or something like that. So, here we have Silver wanting to battle us, and he is going to be coming out with a Haunter. I probably should have switched out to Houndour. Probably. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with a Razor Leaf attack, and I... Oh, yeah. Haunter is... Hunter is indeed a poison type Pokemon, so there we go. That actually hits it pretty hard. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to, I would love to say Hera, but hmm. You know what? Let's go with Fluffolt right here. It needs some love. So here we go. Fluffolt, how you doing? And he's going to be coming out with a mean look. That right there is going to prevent us from escaping, so let's go straight for a Thunder Punch, and well, here comes a Lick Attack. And that was a critical hit, but Thunder Punch right here will actually get it good. And a Haunter is not looking so good right now, but here comes a Spite Attack, holy crap, okay. So we're reduced by four, this might actually be our last PP, right? Nope. And there it goes. And Chico has grown to level 24, and everybody else is... Right there, look at that, level 23. Alrighty, we're growing. And here comes a Magnemite, so let's go right ahead and finally use Hera right here. We actually have a Fire-type Pokemon. Only problem is it is underleveled. And this could be a good matchup against uh, a Pokemon it can beat, so let's go right ahead and use this. And there you go, Steel-type Pokemon, eat my dust. It's a critical hit right there. And, yeah, way to, <laughs> way to mess it all up for us. So, Hera is now confused. Hopefully we hit it. And, yes, we do. Alrighty. Hera, you are, you are, <laughs> you are a machine right here. Okay, so 500 points, and there you go, level 15. Alrighty. And what's next? Okay, so here, here comes a Zubat. Let's go to Serpentera. Let's give it a little love. Let's give it just a little bit of love right there. And, well, Serpentera, let's go. Here we go, Serpentera. And let's get the rock throw right here. And, well, well, dang. Okay, so we're going to be confused just a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay, so confusion. Come on. Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so us being confused could hurt us more than this guy can. Yeah, one hit, one hit wonders and all that stuff. We flinch. Let's go. Bite attack again. And it's not effective. We're confused. And a crap baskets. Okay. So yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to be... We would hurt ourselves more with the confusion rather than anything. And oh my god, this is getting annoying. Okay, so... Bitterberry, 
Help us out. There we go. No more confusion. And here comes a bite attack. And yes, this guy really knows how to work things. So here comes a rock throw attack. Eat that. There you go. Zubat has been defeated. Alrighty. Serpentera, you are a tank. You are everything I wanted. And well, now that we got an Evolved Lucky, we might as well use an Evolved Lucky. And look at this guy. Look at this guy thinking he's uh, he's going to beat us. Hurts me to see you with another guy right here, Kulava. But guess what? Roll out attack. You can leer me all you want, but guess what? Roll out attack. That right there hits you where it hurts, and it's going to get even more powerful. And, well, he's going to try and evade that, but nope. And we get ourselves another hit right here. So, the smoke screen might help him. It might. I don't know. Let's see. And it did. It helped him. So, let's go right ahead and go with the water gun attack. And that misses. So, here comes water gun for the win. Yes. Mop the floor with you. Alrighty. Look at that. Lucky, you are kicking ass. Okay. Huh. This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. Yet you're the one that loses, okay? I don't get you, man. Oh, <laughs> whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyways. And because of this battle, something crazy happens. Huh. <laughs> What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. Seriously, this guy has some like anger issues, like nobody's business. Okay, so before we do the obvious thing, let's go ahead and find some items right here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a rock smash. Oh no, there's, it's a stone. Okay, so you land in a spot and then you go straight up right here and you will find three sleeping legendary Pokemon, Raiko. Suicune and Entei. They're going to be running away, except for Suicune. Suicune's going to look at you and be like, I'll see you next time. Okay. And, wow, how did you... Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused how... How you seen ended up, like, coming over here real quick, so... Let's see, let's go right here. I think there's an item right here somewhere. No, there's no... There's no item. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and talk to you, scene. I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by, uh, raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. For 10 years, I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Draven, I owe you, I owe, uh, I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of, of, of Ekertik, uh, why I can't even speak, tests the choosing humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Draven, let's meet up again. Farewell. Okay. So, we have now activated the roaming Pokemon. And... Yeah. Now, here's something Here's something funny, guys. After you get out of... You know, after you activate this whole thing right here, this gentleman appears, and he's going to be like, In the distant past, this tower burned in the fire. Three nameless Pokemon perished in it. A rainbow-colored Pokemon descended from the sky and resurrected them. It's a legend that was that has been passed down from uh, by Ecrotech gym leaders. Me? I was a trainer way back when. Ho <laughs> Chances are, he was probably the Ecrotech gym leader at some point. But like I was saying, now you have activated the the roaming Pokemon, both Raikou and, uh, and Entei. But Suicune, you'll be able to find in different places as a roaming Pokemon. So, that right there, you got to keep an eye out for. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going into... Let's see. I think we have a chance at the gym, but I I want to take on the... I want to take on the, the Kimono Girls. This is a hard decision. You know what? We'll see what happens in the next episode. How I'm feeling... Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back for another episode. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, our button's right there. Link's in the description. If you guys want to catch Pokemon Silver for members only, join the channel, and uh, yeah, you'll be getting Pokemon Crystal. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.